The community in the Zambezi region agreed with most of the resolutions taken at the 1991 Land Conference, but proposed some changes and adjustments for both commercial and communal land. Though they uphold the resolution of foreigners not to own land, community members asserted that the leasehold provisions be reviewed. They agreed that there is also a need to review the expropriation criteria for absentee landlords. The meeting also proposed that the Technical Committee on Land Reforms should apply its mind on land prices in the country. Our conclusion was we agree with the resolution. We took note of the achievement and issues of collateral being problematic and unwillingness of the bank to finance projects and programs outside the urban land. We therefore recommended that the government should learn about land tenure system in West Africa or any other country and emulate where possible. Mafue senior traditional councillor Tuvazia Likukela observed that it seems that Bantu sons have not been done away with completely. He said chiefs no longer have rights to natural resources like elephants, hippos and other wildlife where in the past they had rights to cull a certain number per year for their own benefit and that of their people. Fumu Joseph Tembwe of the Mayuni Mashi community also noted that despite the abundance of rich soil in the region, residents remain poor, hence the need for leaders to map out ways that will be beneficial to the community. What I have learned in this consultative meeting is that it is not the right platform for the chiefs to give resolutions and recommendations, but the governor should arrange a meeting with the chiefs within two weeks so that they can put their plans together because the 1991 resolutions, there are clauses that affect our people negatively and others that were beneficial. <laughs> The consultative meeting that ended on Friday was also informed that only two submissions were received from the then Capriri region to the first land conference in 1991.